How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Today I want to talk about the crypto market. I also want to give an update on Solana because they're actually coming out with a cell phone. And I also want to talk about Polygon, Matic, and Voyager, and a couple other pieces of information. If you don't mind hitting the like button and subscribe button, I appreciate that. I try to give you updates as quickly as possible every single day uh, with the relevant information that you need to know. So turn on that bell notification so you know right when I post a video. Now, there's no sponsor here today, just iced coffee. So gonna enjoy that a bit here, but let's get into it. Now, the crypto market is looking fine today. We're up 1%, not much is going on. There's not much happening in the stock market as well in terms of price action. Now, there are a couple cryptos that I really want to talk about here today though. One is Solana and also Polygon. Both are up pretty pretty big on the last 24 hours. Now, looking at Bitcoin though, because we always have to cover Bitcoin, it's the market leader. You can see we are red for the week a little bit, possibly putting in the third uh, the third consecutive weekly red candle. Again, still a couple thousand dollars below the 200 week. Now, we've stayed pretty much in this range all week long, not too much fluctuation, just from about 19.5 to 21.5 or so. Now, Solana just came out with some big news, and this is as of just a little while ago, very recently. They say, what is SMS? Solana Mobile Stack. It's a toolkit you need to build beautiful, seamless Web3 mobile experiences coming first on Saga, a flagship device from Solana Mobile. Pre-order today. Right now, Web3 is not made for smartphones, and you need a desktop browser to take full advantage of it. That's very true. A lot of applications don't even really work on the phone. Uh, the, the user interface just isn't working. Solana Mobile Stack is a crypto layer built on Android to make the mobile Web3 user experience seamless. Solana Mobile Stack includes Seed Vault built into the secure hardware, pretty useful there, easy platform-wide transaction signing, Solana Pay for Android, decentralized app store or dApp store, and much more. It's coming first on Saga, a flagship device built on or built by Solana Mobile and Awesome Privacy, shipping early Q1 2023. Pre-orders are now open. Uh, if we look at Solana Mobile, you can see that they have just a small following right now. It seems like it's something that's being built really just for this. You can reserve this with a $100 refundable USDC deposit. So if you don't like the final price of the phone, you can get it back or if there are bad reviews or something like that, you can join the wait list and it is refundable. To help kickstart a new mobile ecosystem, Solana Foundation has started a $10 million fund to encourage growth of mobile, of mobile dApps. It's time for the crypto, it's time for crypto to go mobile and you can help build it. The Solana mobile stack SDK is available now. What will you create? Now, this is kind of an interesting thing because typically these cryptos don't make hardware. It's really difficult to get into the hardware business, especially from something uh, in software as well. It's really difficult to get into the hardware business, especially when you're building software and you really aren't focused on that uh, as a company. Now, it sounds like they are going to try to build out a team to do this. It will be kind of interesting because right now it is kind of difficult to use crypto for a lot of people and a lot of people have a difficult time because uh, we're not wired to do it. We're not used to doing it. And then also the technology we, we have to do it isn't always user friendly. So hopefully this will help people get into crypto. Now, I don't think anyone that's not in crypto is going to use this, but if they can build this, start building things that are more mobile friendly, I think that will be helpful. I still have to do more thinking about this, think about how this affects Solana, but Solana has been really strong recently and is up on the last 24 hours. You can see 6.2% in the last 24 hours and 7% for the last seven days while Bitcoin's down 10%. Then you can also see uh, just some background information, the rolling liquidations here, last 24 hours, 106 million. So not too much volatility, as we said, there hasn't really been much happening over the last couple of days in terms of price action. Now we did get an unfortunate update on Voyager. So we've talked about this a lot. They had a lot of capital tied up in three arrows capital. And they recently got a loan from FTX. Link in the description if you do want to start with FTX. But 
I used Voyager. I saw a lot of this stuff happening and I just decided that it was too risky so I started to pull out my crypto. Luckily I did that because they're lowering withdrawal limits to $10,000. So they were at 25,000, now they're lowering them to 10,000. And for most people, this isn't a problem. Most people don't have more than you know a few thousand dollars or 10,000, 20,000 dollars in crypto, but some people do have a significant amount. I'm talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. And that's kind of a pain in the butt to go back in there and and then withdraw $10,000 a day. Now keep in mind they do have FDIC insurance on cash or USD up to $250,000. So if you're worried about it, I, I personally think they will be fine. It's just going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, they will be fine short term at least. But uh, if you are worried about that, you can sell and then just withdraw your USD. Now Polygon in in addition to Solana, has also been doing really well recently. They are up 17% on the last 24 hours. You can see that they're also up pretty significantly from their low earlier this week on on Saturday. They were 32 cents. Now they're up around 49 cents. Now there are a couple reasons for this. First of all, they did launch a new identity solution incorporating ZK technology that claims to flip the internet's trust model. So the good thing about this is you can approve or you can prove specific aspects of your identity, but with out revealing personal information. Now I've never used this technology before, ZK Rollup, ZK Snarks, uh, that kind of thing, but Matic is really focusing on that. They put hundreds of millions of dollars into that recently, and I think a lot of people are excited about it. A lot of people think it is the way of the future. In addition to that, we have whales accumulating. So we had a significant amount of whales buying. So this is anyone from, I believe it's 10,000 Matic up to 10 million Matic. And they've added about 8.7% more to their bags over the last month and a half. So they are accumulating as we do, as we go down in price over the last 30 to 45 days. So uh, this has caused them to start moving up recently, but keep in mind, it's probably more the ZK news because they were accumulating this whole time, but we still fell down in price as well. So uh, the fact is that as long as the overall crypto market is trending down, it is good to accumulate, but a lot of people are just waiting. They think we have further to fall down. So a lot of people are holding off on altcoins. And I think once we turn macro bullish again, then the altcoins will rally. But I wouldn't be surprised if we bled a little bit more against Bitcoin, especially because Bitcoin's down significantly compared to some of these altcoins over the last week or so. Now, one other thing I want to, to talk about, and this, is, this isn't this is great. Uh, there's a really good video on YouTube talking about the Board API Club and their possible ties um, politically to Nazis and to anti-Semitism. I would go watch that video. It's a long one. It's over an hour, but I, I think you have to be careful about what you invest in, what you think about different things, because a lot of us, and this was kind of the point of the video, a lot of us ape into stuff or we buy stuff really quickly without really thinking about what's behind the project. And I think that is a good word of caution that uh, even something like the Board API Club, you might not understand everything about it. And that should probably give you a pause to start buying different cryptos or different NFTs before you've really done enough research. A lot of people bought or were given board API clubs and didn't even think about what is truly behind it. And to be fair, everyone missed out on that for months and months and months until it was just revealed. So go take a look at that video. I don't know what it's called, uh, board API club uh, Nazi or something like that. Just look that up. Uh, board Ape Nazi club is the name of it, I believe actually. So check that out. Uh, just be careful out there. It's a rough time in the crypto markets, but I think if we navigate it well, we're going to come out the other end on a very green note. A couple, maybe a couple of years from now, maybe a couple months from now, uh, we just had the Bank of England say that if you can make it through this crash, that you could be holding on to winners like Amazon and eBay just in crypto, and they think that there's a lot of potential in crypto. So, kind of an interesting thing there too, coming from a bank saying that. If you can pick the right cryptos, you could come away with massive returns. And this, they compared a little bit to the dot-com crash, obviously, with eBay and Amazon making it through that. So if you are investing in the right cryptos, there is a lot of upside. Just remember that. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Check out the links down below if you do want to use something like FTX. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.